Good afternoon. Uh, hindi niya yata mabanggit yung first name ko, kaya apelido na lang yung binanggit niya. I'm attorney Helen Paulette, hombre bueno. And um, thank you, Magsaysay, for the opportunity of um, speaking before this group. Kayo po ang pinakamalaking audience ko so far. So, medyo kinakabahan ako. But, um, please bear with me. Medyo, um, medyo, ano ba? Ser seryoso. Seryoso kaya yung topic ko ngayong hapon. Uh, dahil ba sa background ko? Natakot ba kayo? Do, do, do you have an idea kung anong pag-uusapan natin ngayong hapon? Ay, wala. Okay. Okay. Um, una, uh, my father-in-law is a seafarer. Okay? So, saludo po muna sa ating mga mandaragat. <laughs> Tama ba? Mandaragat ba ang Tagalog ng seafarer? Maraming salamat po sa ating mga seafarers. Hindi po biro ang magtrabaho sa dagat because physically our bodies are not meant for for the sea na magtagal sa dagat. Hindi po ba? So, um, nakikita ko yung father-in-law ko pagka may, kapag ka sasakay na ng barko, uh, talagang nalulungkot pa rin siya. Ano na siya? More than 30 years na siyang seaman. Uh, he's a second engineer. And every time naaalis siya, nakikita ko pa rin ang kalung na malungkot. Talagang mahirap. Separation from family is really difficult. So, thank you for bearing that difficulty para ang pamilya niyo po ay magkaroon ng magandang kinabukasan. Palapakan niyo naman yung mga sarili niyo. Okay? Thank you then, Magsaysay, for upholding the welfare of our seafarers and their families. Okay? So, to this afternoon, ang assignment ko po ay mag-lecture about uh, family law. Usapang legal po tayo ngayong hapon. But don't worry, ah, uh, Anong oras na ba? 2.31? 30 minutes lang po, or less, ang aking uh, iaalat. Sana matapos ko in 30 minutes. So I will be speaking on family law. Bakit? Hindi para... Of course, for your information, you need to know your rights. Your rights as seafarers, your rights as family members, the your rights as husband and wives, as parents and children. Hindi para paglaban-labanin kayo. <laughs> diba? Alam niyo yung sa simbahan, pag nakakarinig ng sermon, Uy, kaw, kaw yun, kaw yun. Hindi, hindi po ganun. Medyo counterproductive kapag ka ganun yung, yung ginawa natin. Kasi ang objective natin ay building a strong foundation. Diba? So, the, the law is meant to strengthen the family. Hindi po yan... Sige ka, pag di mo ginawa yan, kukuntakin ko si attorney, kukunin ko ang number ni attorney at lagot ka. Ipa, ite-demanda kita, magkikita tayo sa korte. Hindi po ganun. That's not my objective this afternoon. My objective is of course to inform you of your rights, but more importantly, your obligations to your family. Okay? Not for purposes of conflicts or disputes, but for you to be simply informed of the law. Diba? Marami pong tao ang naluloko kasi hindi nila alam kung ano ang batas. Okay? So, before I start, um, meron po kayong piece of paper. Uh, kahit ano, kahit anong piece of paper. And pen, siyempre. <laughs> pen and paper. Lahat po, including, sino po dito yung mga bata na, yung medyo nakakaintindi na, mga anak pala, sorry. Mga medyo nakakaintindi, mga 10, 10 years old, or 12 years old, 13, sige, 13 na lang. May mga anak dito na 13 years old, nakasama. Okay, meron. Meron po, meron po akong tanong. Dito. So, for the seafarers who are husbands and fathers, okay, 
seafarers who are husbands and fathers. So, yun yung unang category. Pangalawa, para doon sa mga... Meron po yung seafarer na babae. Seafarer wives. Meron po? Meron doon si Ma'am Lynn. <laughs> okay, meron. So, as a seafarer wife and mother, or mother, and mother, sorry. And pangatlo, yung mga anak ng seafarer. Kanina yung mga 13 years old. Yung mga kayang sagutin yung tanong na to. So, una, si fair husband. Pangalawa, si fair ma uh, wife and mother. Pangatlo, children of seafarers. Isa lang po yung tanong. What do you expect? Okay? So, si seafarer husband, what do you expect from your wife and your children? Si seafarer wife and mother, what do you expect from your husband and your children. Si child ng seafarer, what do you expect of your parents? Okay? So, siguro mga 30 seconds to 1 minute. I'll give you time to write your answers. Okay na po? Lahat? Okay. So, mama, dyan lang yan. Mamaya kasi um, we'll take a look at your answers pero later na at the end of the lecture. Okay, let's start with the lecture about family obligation. So, walang rights, ha? Huh? Walang rights. Makikita niyo mamaya. Walang, um, wala akong nilagay ng family rights, family obligations. Okay. Sa family code po, yan ang obligasyon ng husband and the wife. The husband and wife are obliged to live together observe mutual love, respect, and fidelity, and render mutual help and support. So, kanina pa natin nababanggit yung word na support na yan. Sabi kanina, di ba, sa lectures, um, wives, you are the support of your husbands. Husbands, you are the support of the wives. And it's true for the children as well. Um, hindi, ko, hindi lang syempre na-include siya. Pero that's, ang primary obligation is with the husband and the wife. Now, yung mutual love, respect, and fidelity, and mutual help, those are, well, pati support, those are intangible. Meaning, hindi naman natin yan nakahawakan. Hindi naman natin yan nakikita. It's Observed and felt and um, extended, di ba? Pero I will be talking about yung material support. Okay? Seafarers. <laughs> okay? What is support? Okay, or what comprises support? Support comprises everything indispensable for sustenance, dwelling, Clothing, medical attendance, education, and transportation in keeping with the financial capacity of the family. So, pag sinabing indispensable, hindi pwedeng mawala. Hindi pwedeng hindi. Kailangan meron. So, sustenance, food, dwelling, matitirahan, clothing, pananamit, medical attendance, of course, pag nagkasakit ang asawa, nagkasakit ang anak, at some cases, nagkasakit pa yung magulang, pinsan, kamag-anak. Di ba? Like we have heard kanina. Education, pag-aaral ng mga bata, and transportation in keeping with the financial capacity. Yung education, question, hanggang kailan mo pag-aaralin ang anak mo? Sagot. <laughs> Sabi ka niya ni Sir Subong, hanggang high school lang. Hanggang kailan po? Does it cover postgraduate courses? Masteral? Ganyan? College. Okay? Pero at some... Kawaw, kasi ako pinag-aral ako ng magulang ko postgraduate na eh. So pwede. In keeping with the financial capacity. 
Kung hindi ka na kayang pag-aralin, abay, maawa ka naman sa magulang. <laughs> diba? Uh, most ki, ako, uh, mapalad kasi kinaya pa ng magulang kong pag-aralin ako. So, but, yung education is not limited to attaining the age of majority. So, yung age of majority natin is 18. Diba? So, ngayon yung 18, first year college pa lang, diba? Kasi may grade 12, may K-12 to na. So, lumalabas, katatapos pa lang ng high school, yung, yung, ng grade 12, na senior high, yung anak, pagka-18 na. So, it may extend up, up, even after attaining the age of majority. Okay, transportation, pagpasok, pauwi, ganyan. Necessary naman yun sa pag-aaral nila, diba? So, every, everything that is indispensable. When you say indispensable, necessary. Yung kailangan. Meron akong, um, dalawa kasi yung factor dyan eh. It should be necessary and it should be in keeping with the financial capacity. Meron akong nahawakan na kaso for um, support. Tapos, um, Yung nag ask ng support, yung petitioner, yung humihingi ng support, and sabi ng judge, ilista nyo lahat ng expenses. Lista nyo lahat ng ginagastos ng household in a month, complete with receipts. Okay? So si nag ask ng support, nilista naman niya. So, grocery, kuryente, um, tuition fee, service, tutor, etc., etc. Tapos nakalagay dun sa iba ba? Um, monthly, ano yun? Parang, monthly budget for recreation. So, nag, yung bibili ng bagong daruan, bibili ng, yung magmumol, mga ganon. So, sabi, is that really necessary? Sabi, so, Ah, ako, ako yung kalaban. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> ako yung kliyente ko yung hinihingi ng support. So sabi ko, is that really necessary? Yung kailangan ba talaga buwan-buwan may bago kang laruan? Kailangan ba buwan-buwan ay nasa out-of-town vacation ka? What do you think is the answer? Hmm? Tama, mali. Ha? Alam mo sabi ng judge, sabi ni judge, if that is the financial capacity, in keeping with the financial capacity, kasi nung hindi pa sila galit-galit, binibigay naman nung nagpo-provide. Diba? So, hindi naman kasi nagbago yung financial capacity. Gets? So, it's complicated, Pero dalawang factor lang po ang kailangan yung tandaan dyan. It, first, necessary. Pangalawa, in keeping with the financial capacity of the family. Okay. Sino-sino ang kailangang suportahan? Ah, this is not in particular order, ha? Hindi yan, dapat spouses muna, dapat, uh, uh, hindi yan in particular order. But, of course, kung may asawa ka, ang primary obligation to support ay yung asawa. ba? Tama? Hala. Mga asawa, hindi pa kayo payag na ganun? <laughs> ang primary po na yung susuportahan ay yung asawa ninyo. Okay? What if walang asawa? What if uh, si Candy, Candice, Cadiz, may asawa ka na ba? Oh, wala pa. Oh, sasakay siya ng barko. Who is she obliged to support? Yan. <laughs> Lagot ka. <laughs> Lagot ka. Okay, in the absence, kung walang asawa, legitimate ascendance, ascendance, pataas, descendants, pababa. So, kunwari, biuda ako, pero meron, um, so wala na akong asawa, di ba? Pero may anak ako. So, susuportahan ko yung anak ko. Eh, namatay yung anak ko. Namatay na yung anak ko. Pero yung anak ko, may anak. So, may apo na ako. ba? I am still obliged to support the descendant. 
Okay? Kasi wala naman siyang magulang. Diba? Wala naman siyang magulang eh. Okay? So, in the absence of the spouse, it's the, or parent, it's the ascendant or the descendant. Parents and their legitimate children. Ayan, sinasabi ko. And the illegitimate and illegitimate children of the latter. Okay? Kahit po illegitimate. Meaning, uh, anak nyo sa iba. Hindi nyo anak sa labas. <laughs> Ganon. Kahit anak sa labas. But the mother of the illegitimate children hindi pwedeng support. Hindi entitled na supportahan. Okay? So, parents and their illegitimate children. O yan, pareho lang. Legitimate brothers and sisters, whether of full or half blood. So, talagang wala ka ng magulang, wala kang anak, pero meron ka mga kapatid. So, you are still obliged to support your brothers and sisters. Hindi ideal, no? Kasi nga sa Bible, pag nagkapamilya ka, ang focus mo na is the family. Pero kasi, yung family code natin ay crafted uh, based on family culture. And ang family culture natin talagang extended. ba? Diba? So, while it's not ideal, yan po yung nasa batas. So, wala tayong magagawa but to observe the law. Now, how do you determine the amount of support? Walang absolute amount. Siyempre, iba-iba naman sweldo natin. <laughs> Diba? So, um, it cannot be fixed. The only factor is in proportion to the resources or means of the giver, si kanina, in keeping with the financial capacity, and to the necessities of the recipient. Kung ano yung pangangailangan na, pangangailangan nung nangangailangan ng support. So, it's not fixed and it's not final. It shall be reduced or increased proportionately. So, kung na-promote, kunwari na-promote, naging, um, ano ba? Third engineer, naging second engineer. Wow! Magkano mas wala ng second engineer ngayon? So, mga 200? 2,000 dollars? Ha? Huh? Dapat pala tinanong ko yung father-in-law ko. <laughs> ha? Maliit lang? Ah, oh. So, kunwari, nagkaroon ng promotion. So, from third engineer, naging second engineer na si daddy. So, syempre, yung amount of support, tataas din. It will be um, reduced or increased proportionately. Okay? Yan. Ang bilis ko, no? Ang bilis ba ako? Now, kunwari, Sabi dito, di ba, um, meron taong entitled to support at merong amount na kailangan i-support. What if ayaw mag-support? For whatever reason. What if, naku, yan naman, nagkukurutan. <laughs> Paano kung ayaw magbigay ng support? The person na deprived ng support, yung ayaw bigyan ng suporta, can file either a special civil action for support, that's under the rules of court, or kung ikaw ay asawang babae o anak ng taong ayaw magbigay ng support, you can file a case for violence against women and children. Kawawa naman. Paano kaya kung yung asawang lalaki ang ayaw isupport? <laughs> Balik tayo sa number one. Special civil action for support. I hope wala naman dito nagko-contemplate na mag-file ng mga ganyang cases. ba? Kaya nga tayo nandito kasi we want to build stronger families. Okay? Yung violence against women and children po ay criminal case. So may kulong na involved dyan. Okay, nananakot. Okay, can a person lose the right to support? Of course, 
Yes, dahil yan ay um, fixed, uh, binibigay ng batas. So, pwede mo yang mawala. For example, ayan, naghiwalay si daddy at si mami. Naghiwalay si husband and wife through a court action. Ha? Hindi po yung naghiwalay lang ng bahay. Ang tawag doon sa makabilang bahay. Okay? Um, yung right to support, mawawala siya if yung kasal ay na, in, na invalido. Invalidated. So either it's declared null and void or anal. Magkaiba po yan ha? Common na pagkakamali. Yung annulment at nullity ay dalawang magkaibang bagay po. But the effects are the same. Nasisevere yung marriage. So once na hiwalay na kayo through a court order, wala na rin po yung karapatan nyo sa suporta. Husband and wife, ha? The support for the children remains. Okay? So kahit hiwalay na si husband and wife, kung may anak kayo, kayong dalawa, susuportahan nyo pa rin yung mga anak ninyo. Jointly. Okay? Or, the offending spouse. Kunwari, nahuli mo si si mister, nahuli niya si misis. May kulasisi. Or si misis, nahuli niya si mister. ba? Diba? Ano yung mga naririnig natin na krimen? sa infidelity, adultery, concubinage. 'Di ba? Sino familiar doon? Sino? Okay, familiar. So, again, kailangan po ay court order, court decision. So, kailangan yung sampahan ng reklamo yung asawa ninyo. At si korte, kailangan conviction. Sabihin ni korte, "O ikaw, guilty ka ng concubinage." Ang isa sa consequence niyan, consequence niyan, hindi ka na entitled sa support ng asawa mo. Gets pa? I'm trying to make it really simple and I'm trying to make it uh, parang hindi niyo naman masyadong kailangan, 'di ba? <laughs> kung kung okay naman kayo sa relasyon niyo sa isa't isa, this is for informational purposes only. So the offending spouse and kapag wala na kayong kasal, wala na ang bisa ang kasal. Okay. Now, succession na. So, as in, syempre, lahat naman tayo dito ay mamamatay. Di po ba? At one point in time, mamamatay po tayo. So, yung batas, meron din po siyang sinasabi about inheritance or ano nun na? Inheritance, mana, whatever you leave to your family behind. Okay? Ang tawag po doon ay successional rights. Okay? The Civil Code provides for successional rights of persons in case of testate and intestate. Testate, yung may iniwang last will and testament. Okay? Ngayon po, yung last will and testament, hindi po ito pang mayaman lang ha? Yung mga, yung limpak-limpak. Di ba yung sa mga telenovela? Yan, may mga iniiwan ko ang, ang ikta-iktar yung lupa ko kay ganito. Simple people can also prepare a last will and testament. Kung, kung meron lang naman kayong ipapamana, di ba? Kunwari, meron nakabili kayo ng property and gusto nyong... Uh, i-determine kung paano siya hahatiin pag namatay na kayo. Namatay na tayo. ba? Diba? So, pwede kayong mag-prepare ng last will and testament. Pangalawa, in the state succession, walang last will and testament. Ganun lang po kasi. Now, sa batas, meron tayong tinatawag na compulsory heirs. So, yan yung mga tao na buhay um, yung portion ng estate. Okay? Medyo technical, ha? Kasi pag namatay po ako, kunwari, ako talaga yung namatay. Ako na lang yung example. Kunwari, baka, baka magalit kayo sa akin pag kayo yung example. So, kunwari, namatay ako. 
Okay? So, meron akong isang bahay at lupa, tatlong sasakyan, um, uh, ano ba, shares of stocks. Kunwari lang, mayaman ako. Kunwari si Sir Cebu. <laughs> diba? So, ma, a poor, uh, pag namatay ako, ang magiging tawag na doon sa mga naiwan kong properties ay estate. Okay? So, portion of that estate, hindi ko pwedeng, hindi pwedeng maibigay sa kung kani-kanino lang. Okay? So, for example, gumawa ako ng last will and testament. Nakalagay doon, yung isang, yung, isang, yung bahay at lupa ko at yung tatlong kotse, ibibigay ko sa BFF ko. Pwede ba yon? Pwede ba yon? Ha? Sino sa sabi pwede? Sino sa sabi hindi pwede? Sino sa sabi hindi alam? Okay. Sir, sino yung sino yung nagtasa kamay na pwede? Bakit po pwede? Ha? Wala naman ako sinabing gumawa ako ng last will. Ay, gumawa ba akong last will? Oh, gumawa ako ng last will. Sabi ko, ibibigay ko yung bahay, lupa, ay bahay at lupa, kotse, sa kaibigan ko, sa BFF. So actually, it, ang sagot niyan is depende. Depende po, kasi yan na, mag-explain na ako ng mga technical na bagay. For example, yung mga anak. Yung mga anak po, legitimate, ha? Legitimate, anak sa kasal. 50% of the estate ay kanila. Okay? So, in my example, kung ang halaga nung bahay at lupa plus tatlong kotse ay lumagpas sa 50% nung entire estate ko, bawal na yun. Kasi, 50% ay automatically allotted sa mga anak. Okay? By the way, um, kasama sa estate po, ay yung debt benefits ng mga seafarers in case of natural or accidental death. Alam niyo po ba yan? That's in your POEA contract, tama? Okay. So, let me be, let, let me also clarify na yung alati is different from the beneficiary. Okay? Your alati may or may not be your Beneficiary in case of death. Yung alati, siya lang yung tinesignate ninyong tumanggap ng inyong sweldo. But the beneficiary is the one entitled to the, to the proceeds in case of death and uh, na, uh, in case of death ng seafarers. So malinaw po yan ha? Okay, basa-basa po ng POA contract. Okay? So, who are the compulsory heirs? So, whether or not may will, itong mga taong pong ito, hindi pwedeng maichipwera sa hatian ng yaman. Wow, ang yaman natin. <laughs> okay? Legitimate children and descendants with respect to their legitimate parents and Ascendance. Ang, ang ano no, masyadong masalita yung batas. So, ano lang yan? Uh, anak mo or anyone sa ilalim, pa iba ba? Okay? So, kunwari, yun nga, example ko kanina. Um, uh, ay, ako, tapos may anak ako and then may apo. Namatay na yung... So, dapat ang magmamana sa akin ay yung anak. E eh, naunang namatay yung anak. So, the successional rights will transfer to the apo. Okay? So, uh, yun. In default, pag walang descendants, kasi po ang batas, kinuun ang um, the... yung pababa, ang priority kesa sa taas. Okay? So, kunwari, may anak ka at may magulang ka, sino ang priority? anak. Okay? So, kapag walang anak or walang relatives na pababa, legitimate, 
parents. So, kapag wala na sa baba, tsaka ka pa lang, ah, yan. Okay? With respect to their legitimate children and descendants. The widow, of course, si asawa hindi pwede mawalan ng share. Okay, yung four and five, uh, acknowledge natural children, natural children by legal fiction. Uh, ano na yan? Sa ngayon, isa na lang yan, illegitimate children. Okay, but of course, ang share nila mas maliit kesa sa share na legitimate children. Meron pong computation yan. Meron table yan. How to compute for the inheritance. Okay? So, kung gusto nyo pong malaman, lapitan nyo po ako, discuss natin. <laughs> Pero, um, minsan, mad ah, madalas, kung wala namang last will and testament, yung mga tagapagmana, nag execute lang naman sila ng isang dokumento, minsan they can determine among themselves, ano dito yung akin, ano yung sayo, magkano yung akin, magkano yung sayo. Without the need of court intervention. Okay, so, asset money. O, so tapos na yung batas. Tapos na yung batas. Alam nyo, sabi ko, nung nakita ko yung program, sabi ko, ano ba yan? Last speaker na naman ako. Kasi tuwing may seminar, Lagi pa akong last speaker. Hindi ko alam kung dahil nakakatakot ba yung batas o dahil seryoso yung usapang legal, di ba? But I realized, uh, coming from what, from, from the earlier speakers, di ba? Uh, Na-miss ko lang yung kay, ano eh, kay Miss Lilet. Kung okay ka naman sa iyong relasyon sa asawa, kung okay ka naman sa relasyon sa mga anak, If you are emotionally healthy, if you if your relationships are okay, hindi mo naman kailangan talaga ng batas. 'Di ba? So, it's ako personally ang advocacy ko lit yung litigation or the filing of cases should always be the last resort. Okay? So, kung okay naman ang support system ninyo, kung okay naman kayong mag-asawa sa fina usapang finances, yung pagtulong sa mga kamag-anak. Actually, kailangan nyo lang talaga yun for your information. And kakailanganin nyo lang yun kung yun nga, sabi ko, as a last resort. Kung wala na talagang paraan, wala na talagang magawa. ba? Diba? So that should always be the last resort. Okay. So let's talk about Manage, asset management and protection. So, hindi na ako abogado ngayon. Hindi na abogado ako eh. Ngayon, life coach. Okay? What is your greatest asset? Sagot. Ha? Nagsisimula po sa letter Y. Ay, kung ako ang sasagot, letter Y. Kung ikayo ang sasagot, for yourselves, ano ba? Sige. Hula. Ha? Health? Sino pa? Myself? Okay. Ang sagot, you. You are your greatest asset. Okay? Sarili mo. Bakit? Sino ba nagtatrabaho? ba? Diba? Sabi kanina ni Sir Sibong, sino ang binigyan ng time? Sino ang binigyan ng energy? Sino ang binigyan ng money? Ikaw. Therefore, it pays to invest in your health. So, health and myself, yun ang tama. Okay. O, oh, life coach ako ngayon, ha? Hindi na ako abogado. Take care of your body. Physical health. O, di ba kanina? Anong sabi dun sa 10 ways to look after your mental health? Surprisingly, 4 out of 10 refers to the physical aspect. Eat healthily. Uh, ano isa? Ano pa yung tatlo? Um, get rest. Get fit. Keep fit. Watch your alcohol intake. 
Totoo naman, kasi aanhin mo naman yung, I mean, if you are not physically healthy, you will not be productive sa trabaho. Di ba? Tama po? Tama. So, take care of your body. Spend time with your loved ones. Relax and recharge. Alam niyo yung father-in-law ko, tuwing bumababaya ng bari ko, the first thing he does and the first thing his family does, lumalab lumalabas, nagbabakasyon. Nagbabakasyon talaga. Whether it is out of town or out of country or even dumadalaw lang sa mga kapatid, mga pinsan, ganyan. They spend time with the loved ones. And, uh, ito na-observe ko, yung mother-in-law ko, kasi there was a time nag-stay kami sa bahay nila. Merong specific time of the day na kailangan nasa bahay na yung mother-in-law ko. Why? Because that's the time tatawag yung father-in-law ko. She has to be there kasi kailangan nilang magkausap. Hanggang ngayon, tuwing nasa bar ko yung father-in-law ko, ganun ang ginagawa nila. They really find time to spend talking to each other. Kumusta ka na? Diba yung mental... Ano yung kanina? Yung mental health kanina, the first question is, kumusta ka na? Diba? So, spend time with your loved ones, rel relax, and recharge. So, ito naman yung emotional and psychological health. Now, yung pangatlo, live within your means. It's, I, I term it uh, financial health. Okay? You know, the, the, the earlier generations of seafarers, Karamihan sa mga, yun, when they retired, uh, wala silang pera. Wala, wala talagang pera because pag nagpadala sila ng pera, yung mga esposo nila, they think they can really just spend the money. I know, meron akong isang seafarer na kilala ganyan. He was earning so much kasi nasa ano siya, chief cook siya sa isang cruise ship. So yes, he was really earning so much. But, yung kanyang pamilya, siya mismo, he did not learn to live within the means. Ngayon, hindi na siya makapagbarko kasi matanda na siya. So, wala siyang retirement. Hindi niya ma-enjoy yung kanyang retirement. So, if you want to enjoy later in life, uh, learn to Discipline yourselves, ourselves, today. Diba? Yung discipline nga daw, ang, ano dyan, ang, ang description dyan is, pay now, meaning maghirap ka ngayon, and then you play later. Diba? Um, magtsaga ka ngayon, and then later on, ano naman yan eh, that's the law of nature, what you saw, you will reap. If you saw hard work now, you will earn a good life later. Okay? Meron akong hindi isang sinama dyan, that is spiritual health. I believe it was already discussed this morning. Okay? So, spiritual health actually, yan ay core. Core ng ating well-being as seafarers. Not only as seafarers, as individuals. Diba? If our relationship with God is okay, Um, hindi malabo ay malabo na yung relasyon natin sa ibang tao ay magiging hindi mag, hindi maayos tama ba if our relationship with god is okay it will follow na maayos ang magiging relasyon natin sa tao horizontal vertical okay Next is financial literacy. Now, syempre, we are very fortunate. We are working, so kumikita tayo. Ngayon naman, ang usapan talaga, usapang pera. ba? Diba? So the question is, what will you do with your money? Anong gagawin natin? Of course, mer meron tayong mga 
expenses, di ba? Kanina, yung expenses for support. So, where do you put your hard-earned money? So, tangible assets, so, house and lot, kotse, um, sino po dito ang nakapagpundar na ng house and lot? Hala, wala. Na may binabayarang house and lot. <laughs> okay? Yan. So, and of course, yung sasakyan, sasakyan naman ngayon ay necessity na. Di ba? So, um, it's okay to invest in house and lot, ay eh, intangible assets. Pangalawa, bank savings. This is the traditional bank savings. Di ba? Where you open a bank account, yung whatever, whatever you, you, di ba? you set aside a portion of your income as your savings. And then the more uh, recent ones, ay yung, yung the more popular now is investment in stocks, mutual funds, and UITF. UITF is Unit Investment Trust Funds. I think, di ba, one of our sponsors is uh, an expert in, in this, um, in this uh, stuff. So, lapitan nyo sila. Uh, this is a long-term, ano, uh, this is a long-term goal. So, you set aside, para siyang savings, but of course, the, 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 ano ba tawag sa kanila? Ano ba tawag sa kanila? Uh, they put it in investments. So, um, your, your money will earn, but your money will earn greater than uh, if you would open a bank account. Kasi yung bank account, meron pa yung tax. ba? Kikita nyo iba yun? Sa, at the end of the month, merong, imbis na parang kikita mo, oh, ba't may nabawas sa bank account ko? Kasi may tax yun. Okay? And life insurance. Sino po dito? Alam nyo, the, 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 the generation before me, takot na takot pag-usapan ng life insurance. In, you know why? What does life insurance connote? Death. At nung mga unang panahon din, ang mga tao, takot na takot pag-usapan ng kamatayan. You know, yung tita ko, kinu um, yung tita ko, uh, kinuhanan siya ng Kinuhan siya ng life insurance ng mga anak niya. Naghalit pa siya. Ano ba yan? Pinapatay niyo na ba ako? Gusto niyo na ba akong mamatay? Ganyan. But you know, for all practical intents and purposes, ang laki po ng tulong ng life insurance. Especially kung meron kayo mga tangible assets. You know why? Kapag nategi po tayo at meron tayong iniwang mga ari-arian, yung mga ari-arian natin, matataksan yan. May estate tax po. At kung wala kang pambayad ng estate tax, patay ka. In all, di ba? So, by experience, life insurance will help you answer for the payment of estate taxes. So, um, I'm not an expert pagdating sa mga ganyang bagay. But, um, actually, nag-enroll ako sa isang estate planning course para maging expert ako sa mga ganyan. Because, um, I want, I want to secure my future, my kids' future, di ba? Uh, I want to be assured na pag wala na kami nung mga magul kaming mga magulang, uh, hindi naman namin maiiwan na walang-wala yung mga magiging anak namin. And I guess, for us na nagtatrabaho na may mga anak ngayon, it's a good idea to ponder upon. Di ba? Tama? Tama pa? Okay. Um, ayan, last na. At this point, uh, sir, uh, I'll entertain questions na muna before I go to the last part. Any questions tungkol sa batas? Libre po ang consultation ko ngayon. <laughs> Pagkatapos po nito, 2 five per hour na po. Wala? Wow, huwag kayong matakot. Hindi niyo ko, in, ano, hindi ko kayo sasabihang magdemanda. Wala? Okay, very good. 
Walang magtatanong? Meaning, I would, I would presume that okay ang, ang relasyon nyo as husband and wife. Okay? Okay, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. <laughs> okay. My la the last part. Sir, walang tanong ah. So the last part is, balikan nyo yung inyong mga sagot kanina. What was my question earlier? What, what, what is your, ah, what do you expect from your husbands, wives, parents, and children? Okay? Sa tingin nyo, bakit nagkakaroon ng mga, ng mga conflicts? Bakit kailangan umabot sa demandahan? Bakit kailangan umabot sa barangayan? Barangay na lang muna. Huwag na muna. Kasi bago ka magkorte, barangay ka muna eh. Bakit kailangan umabot sa ganon? The answer is unmet expectations. Tama ba? Ha? Ito dapat ang ginagawa niya. Dapat ganito. Dapat binibigyan niya ako ng 50,000 a month. Dapat binibigyan niya ako ng ganito. Yung asawa ko, trabaho ako ng trabaho, bumibili lang. Dapat, mayam, dapat marami na kaming pera ngayon sa bangko, pero wala kaming pera sa bangko kasi panayam pa parlor, panayam pa manicure, panayam pa pedicure. Diba? So, most conflicts arise because of unmet expectations. So, sabi ko kanina, di ba? As a lawyer, ako ang ina-advise ko sa mga taong lumalapit sa akin. Litigation or court action. Lit um, I'll see you in court. Ganun yung term. Should always be the last resort. So, I think, kanina, ang tanong ay what do you expect? So, ngayon, tatanungin ko naman kayo. I think kasi dapat ang question is, What should be expected of me? Tama po? What should be expected of me? Kung ako ang asawa ko ay seafarer, nasa malayo siya, naghihirap siya, ano ang ina-expect sa akin as the wife of the seafarer? Or, kung ako naman yung seafarer na nasa barko, ano ang ina-expect sa akin ng mga taong nasa Pilipinas? Or kung ako yung anak ng seafarer, ano ang ina-expect sa akin ng mga magulang kong seafarer? Okay? So, how to avoid unmet expectations? Parang medyo double negative yung tanong ko, no? How to... Ganun eh. How to avoid... Ha? Okay. Number one. O, oh, wala na tong handout, ha? Ay, wala na handout. Wala na tong slide. This is, this is based on personal experience, by the way. Number one. Set realistic expectations. Okay? Kanina sabi, di ba, dapat may meeting. Dapat may, may meeting de abanse ang bawat pamilya. Nag-uusap ang bawat pamilya. Kunwari, oh, ito ang... Um, this is our budget. Sabi ni Sir Sibong kanina, di ba? May budget. This is our budget. How do you, we plan to spend it? How do we plan to manage our resources? Okay? Yung realistic. Yung realistic. Di ba? Again, ano sabi ko kanina? Ano sabi kanina sa support? in keeping with the financial capacity. Hindi naman po masamang mangarap, pero of course we have to 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 face reality. Kumbaga, hindi naman ano, mangangarap tayo pero as of now ito ang meron tayo. Okay? Pangalawa, maintain good communication. Yan kanina pang umaga yan na babanggit. Good communication. Filipinos are generally not good communicators. Sa totoo lang. Hindi rin confrontational. Lahat kinikim-kim. Di ba po ba? Tama ba? Yan ang observation. Non-confrontational, hindi, hindi good communicators. So, uh, 
keep your communication lines open sa inyong pamilya. Okay? Number three, resolve to work out family issues within the family. As much as possible, kayong pamilya muna ang mag-ayos. Pilitin yung ayusin ang inyong mga differences, ang inyong mga issues. Diba? Hindi yung may problema kayong mag-asawa, pinost mo na sa Facebook. Diba? Yung asawa ko. Uso yun eh. Dami ko nababasang ganun. Akala ko, tagtatrabaho sa abroad, yun pala, iba na ang tinatrabaho. Diba? Resolve to work out your conflicts within the family. Don't in... Huwag niyo munang ikalat yung problema sa labas. Okay? Now, what if hindi talaga kayang i-contain within the family? Number four is seek counsel. O ha? Hindi abogado ha? Hindi ka agad abogado ang hahanapin nyo. Seek counsel. It could be... Uh, ano ba? It could be a priest. It could be a psychologist. It could be a life coach. Diba? Someone na sa palagay nyo matutulungan kayong mag-asawa or kayong pamilya sa inyong problema. Okay? Now, if hindi pa rin talaga kaya, sabi ko nga, litigation should be the last resort. Kung talagang hindi na kaya ng lahat ng 1, 2, 3, 4, ah, uh, well, legal action is always an option. Pero, kung ako, wag na lang, kasi ako lang ang yayaman sa gagawin nyo. <laughs> kasi ako babayaran nyo eh. Diba? Sayan naman yung pera nyo. Okay? So, ah, uh, tapos na. Tapos na yung aking lecture. Let me just leave you with one final, um, this is actually a Bible verse. Kasi, uh, since we are a pope, gusto natin, uh, gusto natin strengthen ang bond ng families, no? Let me leave you with one principle. Uh, tinuro sa amin ito bago kami ikasal ng aking asawa. Okay? Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. And whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest. Natato natutuwa ako sa inyo. <laughs> will also be dishonest with much. In one word, it's stewardship. Sabi ni Sir Sibong kanina, you are, we are stewards of time. We are stewards of energy. We are stewards of money. So, kung sa maliit na halaga, hindi natin, uh, hindi tayo mapagkatiwalaan, how do you expect us to be trusted with much? Magkano kinikita mo ngayon? If you cannot be entrusted with, eight, kanina, 8,000 pesos? ba? How do you expect God to entrust you with a million pesos? Okay? Stewardship po. So, good afternoon everybody and maraming salamat.